the time is 11.21 on this late Tuesday, 20th June 2017. It's coming out for the Peer Channel Late Night News on this late Tuesday, June 20th, 2017. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter J. Wiggins. It is 11.21 on this late Tuesday. And our top story on the Peter Channel Late Night News is... Rutgers in Georgia, where President Trump hopes to set in his presidency and its agenda on the Capitol, were given a lift on Tuesday when a Republican won a special congressional in the Atlanta suburbs. Jasper camera video of newly released up by state investigator shows at the moment, Officer John Manigan is fairly shot, Dylan Castillo during a traffic stop in Minnesota through like 2016. Senator Patrick J. Toomey of Pennsylvania on Tuesday, Mr. Toomey and other conservative Republicans had determined to hold the line on federal spending. A suspect was fairly shot at the Brussels Central Station Tuesday after a failed bomb attack that Belgian authorities are calling a terrorist attack. The uh, parents of Michael Brown, the black teen who was shot and killed in 2014 by a white police officer in Ferguson, Missouri, by a breach to settlement with a city over the wrongful death civil suit. The National Weather Service has extended trouble storm warning on the Gulf Coast, where the Alabama Florida Board will have more than that, along with the local weather coming up in the weather segment of the Peter Channel. Late night news. American student owned a one by imprisonment and murder by North Korea savage communist regime prompted many questions about the troop or groups which she participated. After where it appears on Capitol by the first startup, if I can throw up on Tuesday, Senator Smith from the closed door get together calling it this great start and first step, a favorite way ahead for the legislature that will help Americans. Our three police have uncovered some seventy five Nazi of the back head in a sick room and a mouse in your Buenos Aires out just some called a children's arm behind the guns in a box. I don't want to sweat because I'm a large possible leader, Adolf Hitler. A new phase of the Syrian conflict began, and when which uh, outside powers are stepping up in a bomb and pressure gives an ISIS later to be done. Phoenix News, 120 degrees, the Southwest Seahawks, worst tape wave in years. Ian Chance passed for 45 years, he's worked for four congressmen, and been the spokesman for several Republican political groups, and wore a giant penny suit during the White House Easter egg rolls. Republican Ralph Norman won Tuesday's special election of South Carolina for the U.S. House seat, then defeating Democrat Archie Panel in a solidly GOP fifth congressional discord in the Associated Press. Paul Ryan fights the Bush Lassie in Texas. Foxburg firefighters now can down. Don Fulton Fest and Elmas. Reopened for election on Tuesday. Another man charged with stealing from Mabel while she was in hospital. Man accused of an alleged drunken drama fatality in I 95 and out of her died by a grand jury. The map numbers are ticked by uh, high across New England. A dolphin man accused of trying to kill his ex wife and burn down the house on January 18th not be tried in the Supreme Court. In Superior Court. 90% of workers one away is only half of the last one, according to the study. And in Norton, well, most of the town was in the dark for about two hours this afternoon due to a tree falling down into some wires on Elm Street. And it was two hour power disruption, and Natural did grid came to investigate the scene and fix it and got everybody back on. Line in Norton. On the heels of one of the the fields, employees the longest in six months in Uber's eight year history, the company last week credit and it will answer news reports of about his corporate meets behavior by a person to see how Travis can take the leave of absence. Asian shares retreated as a crude oil temple and a bear market on concern of global supply, flexible business, Shanghai, and equities, Split Street as MCI, incorporated out of China's massive stocks to its emerging market index. Has the news something to get about it? Amazon's acquisition in all those markets. One thing is sure for the Amazon is focused on providing more than the services that make this customer's lives easier and better. The automaker Ford said it will begin making the Ford Focus in China for global markets in 2018. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope team has provided 219 new planet candidates, some of which are the near Earth size and habitable zone of their star. Professor Stephen Hawking has called the leading nation sent astronauts to the moon by 2020. They should also aim to build a lunar base in 30 years' time and people send people to the Mars by 2025. Study shows Earth's kill is worsen. On August 21st, the total solar eclipse will be visible in America's one close to close to the passage over the 14th sex by Morgan and South Carolina. Sir, members of the presidential advisory council on HIA AIDS, a president appointed group to the task of advising in the sector of health and human services and how to promote the best HIV treatment and prevention. Exactly one year after her death, Lon Sachs' family found a one by death lawsuit over deadly on one that she picked up during a trip to North Carolina Water Park. Video of a woman in the white house her son at a white skin clinic in Misaka, Ontario's gone for a can outrage across Canada. Pennsylvania unveils 12 medical marijuana permits. P. 
Peter Jones on news. 11.26 on this late Tuesday night. It's from now for traffic and transit of Fox. Baby! Let's study off on the MBT where on the subway it's looking good on the commuter rail. And the ferries, they are all looking good. All right, let's take a look at it now with the ways of New England on this late Tuesday night. Connecticut and Rhode Island highways, they are all looking good. And up in Massachusetts, we're seeing some little slowdowns around the Mass Park and Westbound side between the South Wales Expressway and all the way out of the Proof Tunnel and South Wales Expressway. 93 at the Northbound side. That's a little slow between the South Mass Park all the way out of the Zaken Bridge in downtown Boston. Route 1 on both ends is back up around Route 16 in Revere. And Mass Park and Westbound side, and it's low on the Millbury stretch and up north. Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, now with a looking good side around 395 on the eastbound side. It's a little slow after Route 95 at the Bang Rain. And 95 on the northbound side. It is over between Edgewood, New Jersey, and right at Bronx Bay at the George Washington Bridge in Midtown Manhattan. 95 on the southbound side, also a Bronx stretch. 230 westbound side, slow between the Brooklyn stretch. 270 on both ends back between the Brooklyn stretches. Brooklyn Bridge on both ends is backed up. On both ends, Brooklyn Valley Tunnel, southbound side. It is slow. Brown and the Bridge, a little slow, just around the western portion. Link the tunnel on westbound side, it is backed up on the eastbound side, it is opening Jersey City, New York City, and Grand South Parkway, eastbound side, it is backed up on Queen. Peter Jones' time is 1127 on this late. Susan and I, it's coming out for a weather report, and we're taking a look at the latest on Cindy, Trouble Storm Cindy. As of 10 p.m. advisory, Central Daily at Time, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Zero location, 26.5 to the north, 91.0 to the west. Mass contained winds at 60 miles an hour movement, northwest at 7 miles an hour. And our public advisory, Sydney stretch over the central Gulf of Mexico. Heavy rainfall could produce life rain in the flash flooding across parts of the northern Gulf Coast. That tropical storm warning has been extended eastward to the Alabama border, border including Lake Punch Train and the New Orleans metropolitan area. A tropical storm warning is effective for Southeast Pass in Texas and Alabama border border. Metropolitan New Orleans and Lake Punch Train. A trust for water means that tropical storm conditions are expected somewhere within the warning area, and in this case, within the next 12 to 24 hours. And then rest elsewhere along the U.S. Gulf Coast from the central Texas coast to the western border. Panhandle should monitor the progress of this system. For storm information specific to your area, including possible inland watches and warnings, please monitor the products issued by the local National Weather Service Forecast Office at 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, the center of tropical storm city was located in the latitude 26.4, the north latitude 91.0 to the west. Cindy is moving towards the northwest near 7 mile line, this motion is expected to continue for Wednesday and turn toward the north northwest and then toward the north is expected Wednesday night and early Thursday night. The forecast track, the center of Sydney will approach the coast of the southwest Louisiana and southeast Texas late Wednesday and Wednesday night and move over over the southeast of Texas on Thursday. The reports on the Air Force Reserve, reconnaissance aircraft, and nearby ships indicate that maximum sustained winds increase near 60 miles an hour. However, as a little change is driven and expected on Wednesday, slight weakening is forecast begin on Thursday. Charleston Force Wind that sound was up to 275 miles per hour, mainly enough for the northeast of the center. The minimum temperature pressure is reported by the reconnaissance reserve cover with 987 millibars, 244 inches. Rainfall Cindy is expected to produce total rain accumulations of 69 inches, that's a like maximum amounts of 12 inches over South East Louisiana, South in Mississippi, Southern Alabama, and the part of the Annual Fat Thursday. The rainfall could cause life threatening and flash flooding in these areas. Rainfall amounts of 3 to 5 inches, that's a like maximum amounts of 6 inches, could be expected far west across the Southwest Louisiana and the Southeast Texas Fat Thursday. Travel storm conditions are expected the first week. The kind of winter in the water area overnight and then spread westward winter in the water area are fat early Thursday. In addition, one to three feet along ground level is expected along the coastal portion of the tropical storm warning area with outside areas is possible to four feet. And outside tornadoes are possible in the night and the Wednesday from South Louisiana to the Florida Panhandle. All right. Looking at radar and it shows a line of rain charts from Sydney, stretch on a line from north of Tampa, stretch it around western border, and all the way down around the heavy bend rain charts around the Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana Gulf Coast. And stretching to sub central Louisiana. And looking at the Gulf States Mobile is getting heavy rain. Bay St. Louis is getting heavy rain. And the New Orleans Municipal Area is getting heavy rain right now as the remnants from as the system from Sydney. So if you are 
along the path of troublesome city, take caution and be alert. Meanwhile, close to home, we had a beautiful day, a little humid, but we could take it to some sun and a beautiful breeze, but we're looking at some patchy of clouds around Vermont and Western New Hampshire, and we're seeing some some few clusters of rain showers stretching on the line from Albany, New York, around Utica, New York, around Albany, New York, and I don't have a bend rain shower stretching on the line from North Carolina, Ten on the West New York, down the North Coast of Pennsylvania. All right, seven day forecast. It goes like this. All right, 70 forecast, it goes like this. For tonight, we're gonna have some mostly good skies. Low about 59 degrees, stop for west, but about three to five miles an hour. For Wednesday, slight chance of showers between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. So then chance of showers and downstairs after 3 p.m. Mostly sense about 82 degrees, stop west about three to five to 11 miles an hour, chest rate is 30%. Why tonight, a chance of showers and downstairs after 8 for 7 p.m. Mostly skies about 57 degrees, west for about seven miles an hour, chest rate is 30%. Thursday, sun sky is about 81 degrees. North force about 3 to 6 miles an hour. Thursday night, slight chance of showers and then chance of showers and then sun's after 2 a.m. Most of the sky is about 63 degrees. South force about 5 miles an hour. Chance of 30%. Friday, chance of showers and then sun may after 3 p.m. Friday, Sunday, most of the sky is 85 about 600 degrees. And chance of showers is 40%. For Saturday, chance of showers before 11 a.m. Friday, Sunday, the podcast is about 8 to about 61 degrees. And chance of showers is 30%. Sunday, most of the sun and most of the sky is about 81 about 600 degrees. Monday, chance of showers. Friday, Sunday, the podcast is about 67 about 57 degrees. Chance of showers is 30%. And for Tuesday, Mostly sunny skies, about 75 degrees, and currently in Totten it's 68 and fair. Halston's got 72 and clear skies. Mansfield's got 66, and in Norton it's 66 degrees and clear skies. And that is going to be it for our Peter Channel. Late night news on this late Tuesday, June 20th, 2017. I'm Peter J. We'll have a good night with a good five each of the night. See you tomorrow morning in the morning. Up y'all. Have a good night.